Hello, hello, hello to my Libras. Thank you for joining Queen Amun Ra for your weekly reading. This is for June 9th to next Tuesday. This is for my Libra Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Sorry about the pause, guys. The cards were trying to jump out of my head. <laughs> trying to jump out of the deck like what in the world okay universe and most high god please give me some information for my libras please give me any information that you want me to share with my libras yes okay libras let's get started now libras you guys know that uh we have some planets in retrograde right now we have venus in retrograde which will be in retrograde until the 25th of this month and so right now you're thinking about you're reviewing your um your love whether it's love for your romantic love your family love or self-love you know a lot of people are on the self-love journey right now understandably so we have a lot going on a lot of people are forced to stay indoors because of the quarantine. Um, a lot of people are teleworking. And so a lot of people are taking on some new hobbies and um, reading books and just, you know, health and wellness journey. So I'm sure when, when it's time for when all of these restrictions are lifted, so many people are going to just come out such beautiful spirits. But right now, a lot of things are happening in the universe right now. A lot of things are changing and changing is not all change is not always good. It doesn't always feel good to some people. But with my Libras, we know that you guys are romantic. You're very charming. You're great listeners. You're very fair. You're ideal. You're idealist. And you're also very, very understanding. So I want to see what the universe has for you. Oh, look at that. <laughs> okay. Okay, Libra. Okay. Wow, your card just popped out. All right, so the first thing we see is the sun. Look at this. The sun, look how fiery that is. You're in your, you've come through a lot of things, Libra. You, come, you came through those mountains. You got the sun behind you. This is a Leo card. Um, you're strong. That's fire energy. It represents your journey to spirituality and taking action. I'm telling you guys, a lot of people are on their spiritual journey right now, and they have just been diving really deep, uh, which is a great thing. Um, they're going far beyond just the surface. And so this person is in a posture like this. I need you guys to see of receiving energy from the sun, that vitamin D receiving these messages that the universe is sharing. And look, four of cups, you have a lot to give, but you're very strong, right? You're sitting in this posture, just the same thing here. You're relaxed, you're cool, calm, and collected. You're receiving the energy from the universe. But this one here is what I'm getting from you, Libra. Usually I see this, when I see this card, it's a card of a lot of distractions around people. But what I'm seeing here is that you're not distracted. You're very, very focused. And because you're not allowing the distractions to um, take you off focus, you're victorious. That willpower that you have inside of you, this, this chariot card uh, talks about willpower and being victorious, right? But because you didn't allow, because you stayed in this posture of just keeping calm and just receiving your energy from your, um, these are your antennas, you're receiving information from the sun, your vitamin D, and from the universe, your mountains are behind you. You look you look very relaxed, refreshed, and renewed. Um, you didn't allow any anything to distract you or take you off course. You you have that inner you have the inner willpower. You got over those mountains and you're flying high in your uh, chariot. Yeah, you have a lot of wonderful things going for you, Libra. A lot of wonderful things going for you, and so. It's hard for some people to stay focused with all this stuff that's going on right now. A lot of people are just like losing focus and just have just checked out. And that's okay for some people because we don't know with all this stuff going on what triggers people have. But you've been able to maintain your focus and just keep, you know, and look, and it's it's paid off for your arms are raised. You're just going higher, higher, higher. And that's a beautiful thing. Look at the six of pentacles. 
pentacles representing money your journey to money and wealth okay because you were able to stay focused and because you were able to gain wisdom from the the universe look at this free flow of resources for you free flow of resources you're able to give out and you're also able to receive this is showing me that you have multiple streams of income multiple streams of income so you're able to give out but you're also able to receive just as much as you're giving out just an even flow right look the seven of wands here you're not accepting what you used to have accepted in the past from anybody you have redefined everything <laughs> you redefined everything libra Fair to some people with Libra looks like, okay, well, you know, you've allowed other people to define fair, but no, you have a new definition of what fair is. And seven of wands is that fire energy. It represents a uh, journey to spirituality and taking action. You have just decided I'm taking action in my life. I'm taking the reins. It's just like here. Look, it's only you sitting there. You have full control. And see, taking the reins doesn't necessarily mean that she that this energy, masculine, feminine energy, has to be holding on to any reins. It's inner reins. You have done the work and you have full control over your life and you're ready to defend it at any cost. This is what I'm seeing. And look at this, the justice card. This is Libra energy. This is you. Your life is fully balanced. Let's look at um, let's look at some more cards uh, for you, Libra, because <clears throat> you have some you have some mm, you're just in a really really good headspace um, spiritually. Like I said, you've done the work. You're just in a really 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 good headspace, and that's a, that's a wonderful feeling. That's a wonderful feeling. So, universe, give me some more information for the Libras. Yeah, give me some more information. For my Libras, they're in a really good headspace and things are going well for them. Right now, they're victorious. They've been able to, um, you know, be disciplined, willpower. They're not distracted by anything that's happening around them. Um, where other people are checking out, they're not. Let's see. Mm, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Let's see. All right. Okay. I can see now why you are how you are right now. Um, Libras, um, because you remember a time when, see this right here, the four of swords, you're in a rest position, but you're wiser and you're smarter now and you know your power, right? So knowing your power and your intellect, you have created boundaries, so you're not just allowing anything and anybody to just come in and just do what they want to do. Nobody is defining anything for you. You're defining things for that for yourself, right? So remember, like I said before, you're fair. Before you allowed other people to define what fair was. Now you define what fair is and you're telling them. Queen of Cups, compassion, okay? This rose quartz that I have here. Um, deals with love, compassion, kindness, and tenderness. This is you. You're filled with love and compassion, kindness, and tenderness. You've forgiven yourself for um, things that you allow other people to define in your past, but not anymore, and look at you benefiting from it. You still have compassion. You're still very fair. You're still a great listener. You're still very understanding. You're still very romantic. But it's everything is on your terms right now. You know, Libra, it's not on someone else's terms. You're not allowing other people. And you know why? This is you drawing from you drawing from the universe. Your this posture here, which a lot of people don't understand what this means. This is drawing information from the universe. Okay. This right here, your third eye is wide open. You see things before they actually happen. Your third eye is open. Okay, this is a Hierophant. This is a uh, Taurus card, okay? Remember I said Uranus is in Taurus? This is your inner freedom. This is your need for inner freedom, your self-esteem. 
No more questions about it, Libra. You know exactly who you are and you know the power that you hold, okay? That's that. Look at the Ace of Pentacles. That's abundance, manifestation, prosperity. That's you. Now that you are completely decisive and you know exactly who you are, this is what's in your path. Abundance, manifestation, prosperity. That pentacles energy which represents your journey to money and wealth. Queen of Swords. The swords energy is the air, represents the air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay, this is you. Intellect and power. If people knew under this under this this dressing the things that you've gone through, the um the pain that you've gone through, the scars that you've gone through to come through those mountains behind you and still come through gracefully the way that you've come through, that you have your sword in a resting position. Look, in a resting position, this is a rest position right here, but you have your swords at your disposal. People have no idea, Libra, what you've gone through. But that's okay. They don't need to know what you've gone through. Look how graceful you look. Like I, I there's a saying, um, I don't look like what I've been through. This is you, Libra. You don't look like what you've been through. You've come through the mountains, but you still have your intelligence and your power intact. And you can even wave to people, you know, do like the pageant wave or for the for the for the men, you know, you do your wave. But this is the masculine feminine energy for Libras. Listen, this is a eight of swords card, right? So what this represents is um, the only restrictions that you have, Libra, are in your mind. The only limitations, the only confinement you have are in your mind. That's it. Because you have the power. As a matter of fact, you have all of these, all of this power around you, all of this intellect, right? Um... If there are any restrictions, again, it's in your mind because you have too much power and you have too much intellect. So again, remember who you are. You are the, the queen of swords. Remember who you are. Because if you doubt even for a second, and I don't believe that you would doubt for a second, Libra, you are, you're very clever you're very meticulous. It took a lot for you to get here, Libra. But remember who you are at all times. Maintain this queen status, okay? Let's look at the oracle cards here. Isn't it wonderful when you know somebody has actually done the work on themselves? Like they've gone to counsel and they, they're not looking to a significant other to be a um, to be a therapist for them or a counselor. They've just they've done the work themselves. That's when you know you love yourself enough that you're not even going to allow yourself to be put out here in a <clears throat> to be looking for a mate. Like who would want to put their significant other or prospects through any of the drama of like having to deal with, um, you know, baggage, you know, um, the best thing you can do for yourself and your mate is to heal. If you're hurting and everybody has hurts, look, look at this, work through your fears. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Look at all of this power you have around you. These, uh, little red things, I don't know if you can see here, they look like little silk, um, um, like little silk, silk um, handcuffs or something. That's the only thing I can think of. But they're so loose, all you have to do is shake them off and take the blindfold off. There's, there's no restriction whatsoever. That's what I'm saying. That's all in your mind. Any restrictions you think of, look, work through your fears. New moon and Scorpio. And so we know Scorpio is a water sign that represents emotions and creativity. Work through your fears. You don't, you don't have anything to fear. Let's see what else we have. Universe, give me one more message for my Libras on today. Let's see what we have for Libras. Okay, let's see what we have. Time. The doorway. This is time, okay? 
remember when I was saying before, like this rose court um, represents love, compassion, kindness, and tenderness? Libra, you've allowed people to define who you are for so long because you want to remain, you want people to see you as fair. But you, remember, you define what's fair, not other people. And so this may take some time for you to get to, you know, where you need to be, but I believe your time is now. That's what I believe. You know, your time is now. You, you, you've done the work spiritually. Um, you've put your, you put your bound, you've set your boundaries in place. You're already victorious. Don't allow, I don't see anything about an X in here at all. I really, I don't see anything about an X in here. What I see that if you're bound by anything, it's, it's, it's in your mind. So just free your mind and these things that have always been available to you will still be available to you. That's what I'm getting for you, Libra. Yeah, I like this. I really, really like this because I see I see that your third eye is open. I see that you're filled with compassion. I see that you're receiving your information from the universe, which is powerful all in and to itself. I see that you're not distracted by anything around you. You know, but I think it's only human that sometimes, especially with the planets being in retrograde, that we're thinking about some things. You know, that we're thinking about some things. But like I said, this right here being in your mind with Taurus being in, um, with I'm sorry, with Uranus being in Taurus is inner freedom and self-esteem and all those things. If there are any restrictions at all, again, it is in your mind. That's all. That That's what it is because you don't have any restrictions. There's no restrictions whatsoever, Libra. Absolutely none. You are a queen and take your rightful place, but you have no restrictions. Your life is great. <laughs> your life is great, okay? All right, that's what I have for you, Libras. Thank you so much for joining me. Again, this has been a reading for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If I have any cross watchers, thank you so much for cross watching. You're also very, very welcome to come in and just like, you know, uh, take a peek at all of the the um, zodiac signs that I have uploaded. Um, yeah, if you like this video, pre please press like. Please share and please subscribe. You know, I put uh, videos up every Tuesday. And in between, I try to drop little gems. Right now, I'm kind of doing a series on a numerology series. And so I've already uploaded uh, the first video from that. And I have two more videos to upload and then we'll tie everything together with numerology. But yeah, thank you, Libras. Thank you so much for spending some time with me. I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.